Jackson Kowar hits the ball tonight. He made his second big league start against Oakland back in June, and he's hoping for much better results tonight. And Harrison starts it off with a walk. So from Harrison to Starling Marte. Fastball, that's line hard to left. Ben Intendi gives chase, can't get it, and lands toward the corner. Up around first on his way to second is Marte. From first to third goes Harrison, and the A's are in business. Runners at second and third with nobody out for Matt Olson. This one is hit in the air, right field. Dozier underneath it. Harrison's tagging. Harrison's going to come in. He's going to score, and going to third is Marte. Sacrifice fly moves up both runners, and Olsen has RBI number 99. Marte now at third base. One down. Here comes Jed Lowry. Fastball stroke toward left. Out there is Ben Intenti. He'll make the catch. Marte tagging. Here comes the throw, and Starling scores standing up. Another sack fly for the A's. This one off the bat of Jed Lowry, and it's 2-0 Oakland. And now Mark Canna coming up. 2-2 two, two pitches, swung on and missed. So two runs on one hit. Lead off walk, two sack flies. He'll be staring down Frankie Montas, who over the last four outings has been superb for the Oakland A's. Kite been filling up the strike zone early and often. We know about that devastating split finger fastball he's got coming in tow. And one down for Nicky Lopez. Nicky grounds yep. it through the right side. So one pitch into the homestand, and he extends his hitting streak to 10 and is on base streak to 23. And here comes the locomotive, the big bus. It is Salvador Perez. And a high fastball, and Perez swung and missed. A little challenge fastball that was elevated, and that's the second out. So two on, two out. Carlos Santana, who has really fought it since the All-Star break. Swung on him, blooped. In a shallow, no, it's not even shallow center, just behind second base. Elvis is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Jackson Kowar has walked the bases loaded here in the second inning. First pitch to Elvis Andrews he is lined to center, and that's a base hit. Played on a hop by Isbell. As hustling into score is Brown. RBI single for Elvis Andrews, and it's three to nothing. So Elvis must have had a plan. I mean, first three guys in front of you all walk. Sitting on a fastball, and you know what? It's not a bad plan if you think about it. And now back around with Josh Harrison. And that's a base hit right center field. Murphy's going to score. Kemp's going to come in to score. Going to third. Everybody's safe there. And moving up to second is Harrison. And it's five to nothing. And that is going to do it for Jackson Coar, the young right-hander. One plus innings, five runs. Urban Santana coming on in relief. Runners at second and third, nobody out. And a fastball is a strike. That swing will not be on his highlight reel. <laughs> now Matt Olson. Olson grounds it to Mondesi. And a run down with Andrews. And Olson is halfway between first and second, but there's nobody for Salvi to throw to. Urban Santana comes in with runners at second and third and nobody out. And he gets a strikeout and an out on the bases. So a five to two put out on the fielder's choice. And now Lowry. Change up, popped him up. Boy, what a job Urban Santana did. Mondesi near third to make the catch. Urban Santana, he made it look as easy as Kowar made it look tough. So Canna will get third base for free, and the Royals in danger of going down 6 nothing. That's a swing. So Urban gets another out with the runner at third base and nobody out. Canna has to hold at third base, and the batter will be Sean Murphy, a right-handed batter. 2-2 pitch. That one bounces away. Canna's going to come in to score, and it's 6 nothing. And even with somebody as great, as the five-time gold glover, Salvador Perez, he's down on one knee. You know, this, this is this is the new norm, like so many other different things about the way the game is presented. So two on, one out for Elvis Andrews, who had an RBI single in the second inning. And there's a line drive caught by Nicky Lopez. Not in time. So they're unable to get that double play back to the top of the order. And Josh Harrison, here's the pitch. A little comebacker to Santana. He'll go to first, record the out, but... Oakland comes up with one more run on three hits. And the Royals have a runner at second with nobody out. And Whit Merrifield now the batter. Ground ball right side. That's a base hit. Isbell is going to be waved home. Brown's throw is cut off. Whit has his first hit. And Isbell's leadoff double turns into a run. That ball's up. Fast ball. Didn't try to do too much. Watch me. Let's the ball travel. And now with one out, Whit is in scoring position. And the batter will be Salvador Perez. And he grounds one up the middle and into center field. 
So here comes Witt around third. Salvi has driven in 106, and now it's 6 2. Well, they were playing Salvi to pull, so the shortstop was pulled way over towards third base, and Salvi hit it where the shortstop had vacated. And the bases are loaded with one out. And the Royals have two in the inning, and now the tying run is at the plate. Adalberto Mondesi. Mondesi pulls it over to the right side. The A's will get an out, the Royals will get another run. Salvi comes down from third. Mondesi gets an RBI. The Royals cut the Oakland lead to three. Hunter Dozier leading it off here in the bottom of the fourth. And Hunter hits it well. Deep left center field. Marte is back. It is gone. And it's a two-run game. Yeah, that's what you can do. And Hunter can do with a fastball. He loves hitting that fastball about 97 miles an hour. And here it comes right down the middle of the plate. And he didn't miss it. And there's two on with one out. Three and a third innings, and that's going to do it for Frankie Montas. Montas had not allowed four or more runs since June 21st. That is the fifth inning in a row the A's have had their leadoff man aboard. So two outs. Now it's up to Elvis to try to make something happen. Three two pitches. Line to left center field, and that's a base hit. Brown will score. Elvis is going to try for two. And Elvis is going to be safe. Big two-out hit for Elvis Andrews to make it 7-4. to four. The A's needed that. First and third, one out, and another chance. Nicky Lopez coming up. Witt's running. And Nicky lines it off of Kemp's glove. Isbell scores. Nicky Lopez joins Witt Merrifield with three hits tonight. And we're back to a two-run game. Oh, man, he picked the right guy to hit it to. One of the smallest guys in baseball right there. He just couldn't climb up and get it. With runners now at second and third, the tying run and scoring position for Salvi. Petit deals. Perez swings, drives it deep to left. That's a way back, and that ball is out of here. The Royals have come all the way back from a six-run deficit, and Salvador Perez blasting his 43rd home run this year has given the Royals an 8-7 to seven lead. You can't sneak a piece of cheese by a hungry Salvi. And Ryan has reached. Now Isbell, who's had a good game, comes up. He's two for three. Isbell into the right field corner. Gone for his first big league home run. Kyle Isbell with his first major league home run gives the Royals a 10 to 7 lead. That's the insurance runs the Royals are talking about. Now the A's have two on and nobody out. Back to back walks. 2 0 the count to Jan Gomes. Gomes hits a ground ball to short. Out at second. There's your double play ball, HUD. Oh, man, just at the right time. I knew he had it in him. So that pushes the tying run from at home plate to back to the on deck circle. And a runner to third, but now there are two out. In the air, left field. Benintendi waits. What a night. And the Royals' comeback is complete. 10-7 the final.